That uh, pass from Avery there in the first quarter, it looked like he uh, went up, said something to the offensive line, and you were just wide open. Kind of what happened on that play, and how nice was it to get on the board first? Man, that's, that's a play that we've been practicing all week. We already knew it was coming. We prepared for it. Uh, we, we got extra, stayed after practice, got some extra, extra them throws, because we knew it was going to come where it was going to bring everybody. And once, once he made that check, I already knew what it was. I knew it was going to go. DJ, when you have a quarterback out there like Avery who can make plays with his feet and is sort of an extra body in the run game, how much does that help you, uh, you know, in terms of being able to get, I guess, open lanes and, and be able to create plays yourself? Yeah, it's great because we complement each other. They don't know if he's going to run off and run it. So, you know, that's always good for a quarterback to be able to run the ball because if they're going to go for me, then, then you know, he's he going to do his thing and if they, or vice versa, you know. DJ, congratulations on the win. Um, leading into the week, uh, Coach Kleiman said he obviously had uh, confidence in Avery, but he said he would need support from you and everybody else to also help him go. Uh, from your perspective, what form did that support take? What does it mean to you to hear Coach say, hey, you need to support this guy, and how'd you do it tonight? Uh, really, it was just me dialing in on the signals, on the plays, just knowing my job for real and not uh, relying on him to tell me what to do as much so he could focus on what he got to do. So it was really just me focusing in, doing what I got to do, everybody do their job. Can you walk me through that last fourth down you converted um, to set up the touchdown when they left you out there, gave you the ball, you ran up the middle and gained those tough yards. What, what was that like? Uh, it was great. I mean, the O-line, they was blocking. They was blocking real good. It was. It was creating open holes. All I had to do was just run for real. And that's all it was really to it, you know. D DJ, there was a lot happening in that post game yeah. uh, with eating a mascot and, uh, yeah, yeah. and the, the, the trophy. How would you describe that post game celebration? It was crazy, man. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> I mean, it was crazy. I, mean, I was just trying to sit back and enjoy it for real. It was, it was crazy, though. What else? Hey, DJ, yourself, and then a guy like Desmond Purnell and a bunch of Kansas guys on the offensive line, what does this mean to get a win like this? Uh, we're a long way from Kansas, but a lot of guys from the state of Kansas contributed to this one. Oh, yeah, most definitely. It's always great seeing Des do his thing on the field, you know, knowing that he's from Kansas, too. And every time after the locker room, we always uh, talking to each other about the game and about – how we, we uh, both of us did, did good during the game, and it's great seeing him do that, for real. Well, I appreciate y'all.